Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for our Elm Creek new player series. So if you're looking to learn how to play the game, you're new to the game, uh, and you're not sure where to get started, this series is going to be perfect for you. So if you've been following along, we've been going through our process of uh, planting, harvesting, and selling soybeans. So we have just finished off our harvest, and we have just uh, planted our next crop. So we've got two fields on the go at the moment so this is all cultivated planted ready to grow so what we're doing today is we are going to so our equipment sales are the same what we're probably looking to do today is sell the Macy Ferguson tractor and we're probably gonna put a chicken pen in somewhere so the chicken pen is gonna allow us to uh, have chickens and start to grow eggs so I'll run through the process for that. So chickens are a pretty easy um, animal to look after in game and the eggs can be quite lucrative. So when the game first came out, uh, eggs were pretty OP and they got a bit of a nerf, but they still, they're still more valuable than just the raw grain products by themselves. And eggs are a critical part in a couple of the production chains, particularly for cakes. So we can utilize them in in that production chain but also in just general sales so if we come down in our prices menu and we find eggs you can see that they're 4,258 at the moment so they've got a peak of 4,000 and a low of about two and a half thousand and what you feed chickens is essentially wheat so you can see the wheat's only worth $1,200 at its best price so effectively you can 3x your money um, on the wheat by selling eggs instead so the return on investment is pretty good okay so we've just slept it's November let's check the used equipment so disappointing selection right there so we've got a baler it's actually quite a good baler. That's one of the bigger ones. Uh, it'll do a square bale. This is a, a a belt system for a silo, and this is for silage for feeding animals and such, particularly cows. So we got to pass on those items. Let's drive this one over to the. So basically, we're going to sell this. So this is going to help fund our chicken pen. So if we go into our equipment menu, look at our owned items. You can see uh, the $68,739 price tag on this. So this indicates that this is what it's worth. So if you sell it directly from that menu, that's what you'll get. However, if you drive it to the shop, you will get um, an increase in, in profit. So what I'm actually going to do is while I do that, I am going to... No, because we leased it. Actually, what I need to do is I need to go pick up that M zone. We bought a fertilizer spreader, so we want to show that on the map. So that is over at the shop. So you can see I've just went to the item, asked asked to show on map, and it is over there. So let's get in the fast tractor. So I'm just going to hire a worker. Let's drop that off. Open AI worker menu, send them over to the shop. So he can go and pick up the fertilizer spreader. Where's the actual, where's the other tractor over here? So that worker will go to the shop, we'll connect the fertilizer spreader, I'll send him back. And then we are gonna sell this. So he should be right behind us. which is actually good because it's actually working the way it should. See if we can beat him there. So this guy will do 42 Ks now, whereas this will only do 39. So I believe he might catch us. Let's just see, I have a bit of a drag race. How far are we? Oh, we're about halfway. See if he's catching. He is gaining on us. 
Well, it's going to be close. Oh, oh no, he's he's turned off. Turned off early. <laughs> oh, make sure we don't crash into anything. Yeah, so while he's parking up, we will go to the cell point. So we've got to go to the vehicle workshop for this. So this is uh, what this building is here. So if we drive into the yellow taped area, just pull up, come over to here, hit L3. We see that we've got a price there. So you can see the value has gone up to 75608. So about a six grand increase, I think. So I'll just double check that because we should still get the same price here. 68,000 in the shop it's 75 so yeah a little bit of an increase there so we're going to sell that so we will get so 216,000 so nice little bump in cash there we've got our fertilizer and seed ready to go so we'll hook up to the fertilizer spreader so we purchased this used for about seven grand so that was actually a pretty good get I'm just gonna have to push this pallet out of the way so you gotta be careful when you do this they don't get pushed into the actual map texture and they can become trapped but they generally it's very rare that that actually happens just need to be aware of it all right refill the spreader so we're just going to take the minimal amount because our worker is going to refill that as we go so hit cruise control and I am I'm gonna send I'm gonna hire a worker to drive this back so we'll set destination. It's only a short distance but I've just gotta move some equipment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chicken pen uh, sort of in this area next to the silo. So I obviously don't want to put it on any of our farmland. So what I mean by that is where the where the crops are growing because that'll just reduce our crop area. So what I'm thinking is it's probably going to go directly in front of the silo. So our yeah, tractor's back. So I'll jump in here, uh, change our working width down to 36, and I will get a fertilizer state down while we are doing the other stuff so we talked about in this talked about this in the last video that's just giving us a yield bonus so let's head over head over here so in this area here is where I'm thinking for the chicken coop so there's two options of chicken coop in the base game so we'll have a look at those in a second might as well just finish this off so we're not having to worry about it and then we'll get stuck into putting the chicken coop down okay so that's all good so dismiss that worker we'll send him over to the other field so we've got to fertilize twice this will be the first time uh, when we sleep again we will get the second fertilizer state and then we can move on so let's put that down to 36 okay so this should get the whole field which it is okay that always going so slow there but anyway okay so he'll finish that off for us and then we can carry on so you want to go into the build mode so l1 big touchpad in the middle so he's complete okay he was going to go back and do some more but we've just stopped him all right, so L1, touchpad in the middle, slide over to animals. And then you want to come to chickens and you've got two options of chicken pen. So you've got the chicken pasture and the chicken coop. So the chicken pasture, pasture, pasta, pasture, yeah, that word. So you can place it this way or you can rotate it around. It's up to you. So you've got a couple of triggers here. So you can see the little... Uh, so try and zoom in a bit. The little unloading icon, that's where the food goes. The paw print is where you can interact with the pen. So to put chickens in, that type of thing. And then the yellow taped area is where the egg pallets will spawn. 
So this will hold 30 chickens. It's only $6,000, so if you want, you can buy this early on. However, we are going to go with the, the Horman chicken coop. This will do 360 chickens, so we'll zoom out just a, just a touch. And what I'm going to do is probably put it in this area here. So in the build mode, if you push L3, you can rotate freely. All right. If you push L3 again, it'll say toggle snapping off. So we put snapping on. So what that'll do is it'll snap it to predetermined angles so it's nice and flush with our field here uh, what we want to do is we want to consider where the pallets will spawn so in this case the pallets spawn on the right hand side the food goes in on the left hand side the interaction point is on the left hand side as well and then the fenced area is where the chickens will hang out so what I'm going to do is put this probably Probably about here actually, so it gives us gives us a decent amount of access to get around to our silo. It doesn't completely block the driveway, so we can still get in and out. Now you also notice that it's seventy nine thousand and thirty eight dollars. The base price is seventy nine thousand, so that thirty eight dollars is just a little bit of uh, leveling that the game will do to install the chicken coop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it just pretty close to this grass margin here. Probably over a touch. Because um, I don't want the machines to run into it. And we're just going to place that down. Okay, so let's go over and check it out. So you can see that there. It's just sort of leveled off a bit of ground in and around the area. So we've still got enough room to get our um, implements through because we've got a little bit of a grass area and this is where our pallets will spawn so we'll be able to have easy access to get a forklift or a telehandler in here uh, to move the pallets around as required so and then we've also got enough room to drive our tractor and trailer combo through there so how do we fill this with chickens so this one only needs this is where the food goes chickens don't need water in real life they do, but in the game, this this uh, pen takes care of it for you. So let's actually have a quick look inside. So we've got a little feeding area, another access point, computer system, and then another door. So usually we'll leave this door shut. And then that's just a little pallet storage area, if you so desire. Right, let's get some chickens in here. So easiest way to get chickens, come over this icon, Animal Dialogue. And you want to... So you've got two options, essentially. Roosters don't do anything for you, so don't even worry about purchasing them. You've got $5 chickens and you've got $50 chickens. So uh, chickens produce eggs which can be sold directly or processed further. Chickens like wheat, barley, sorghum, um, etc., this animal has reached its breeding age. Animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce. So if you want to save money, you would go for the $5 option and you would wait until... So basically what they what they do is they multiply, essentially. So you can buy a, a, a starter bunch of chickens and then over time they will start to reproduce and increase in chickens, like increase the number of chickens so so you can either buy a mature bird or a um, newborn so you can see there the age is six months gestation period is two months and then puberty is six months so i think gestation period means you need to have them for two months before they start laying eggs and then puberty is six months where they start to reproduce so what we're going to do is to save money we are going to go to the five dollar variety and we're gonna we are gonna go and buy probably let's go so that's 120 
Um, 180. So you can see there, 60 mature chickens will cost you three grand. So we could probably afford the three, three grand, but I'm not too worried about at this stage because I'm going to sleep for a few months, which will help get the gestation up. That's going to save us a bit of money. So let's go. Let's go another batch of 60. So that's only going to cost us $360. So if we go again. Oh, look, I'm just going to fill this and not going to worry about the reproduction because it appears to me after two months they'll start laying eggs. So I want to get this thing cranking ASAP. So let's go. Select that. Buy. Yes. So now our chicken coop's full. So even though we've gone the we've gone the cheaper birds, basically we've saved ourselves three grand a pop to buy sixty at a time. So you can. You can imagine that's going to add up. All right, so next thing we need to do is check our animal menu, and it tells us the status of the chickens. So currently, they are obviously they got no food, um, their health, their puberty, and their productivity. So what we need to do is get some grains in there. So let's grab a tractor. So I'll just put the fertilizer spreader over here. So they should eat wheat and sorghum. So I think it tells you what, what food they need. So what do we got? So if we want to go over to the... No, it'll tell us in the animal menu. So wheat, so chickens produce eggs which can be sold and processed further chicken like wheat, barley, and sorghum. So we've got wheat and sorghum, I believe. Uh, we've only got sorghum, so that's that's okay. So we need to we need to be on the lookout for some wheat. Um, if you don't have either of those, you can purchase chicken feed directly from the shop. So that's also also an option. Okay, so let's get. Let's get this thing filled with sorghum. And head over to our chicken. So the other issue with this trailer is it's a little bit more difficult to reverse. So we are going to look to upgrade this trailer at some stage. So we should get the overlighting icon. That will now fill our chicken coop and these guys will now have some food so if we go back into our menu we can see we've got 2835 liters of grain so once that's at capacity basically each month the chickens will eat that food we just got to top it up keep their productivity up cool all right, so we've what have we got? Just check our used vehicle sales again. Just make sure we're not missing out on anything. We have planted our canola. So that, oh, sorry, our soybeans. So 45, 46, and 44. Both have it. So let's have a look at what's on field 49. So field 49 has oats. So we're not really interested in oats because we can't use it for our chickens. What's on field 50? Field 50's got oats as well, which we're not interested in. Uh, field 55 has got soybeans, it looks like. So we could go and harvest that. And field 54, what has that got? Actually, how much is field 55 to buy, first of all? 118,000, so that'll wipe out our money for the moment so let's let's just stick with the current roster we've got I'll sleep for one day see how much these chickens consume 
and then we'll go from there. So let's sleep. Um, and hopefully we get a decent harvester on sale. <laughs> so that's probably going to be around a hundred grand to get a, a bigger harvester. So we'll, we might have to get a loan as well. But we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so we are we are growing. We need to get another another fertilizer state down. Let's go and check on the chickens. So we've got to go into the animal menu again. So you can see there. Um, The productivity is good, so we've got 150, 157 pieces of eggs, so if we come around here we should have, this is our egg pallet, so we've got 157 litres of eggs sitting right there, so once that pallet is full, we can then transport that over for sale, so we probably need to find some, oh here we go, nice tractor, 128,000, ooh. So this is 351 horsepower, which which is quite good, but it's not going to increase our efficiency at this stage because we really need to get um, a bigger cedar and a bigger harvester so we can speed up our speed up our planting. So we're going to pass on that, but we are going to check and see if we can't get some uh, wheat from somewhere or some sorghum. So. Anything ready to harvest that we can feed to the chickens? Probably not. Let's zoom out a bit further. Uh, what's it got? What's on field forty? <clears throat> so it looks like field forty has got wheat, and we can't afford to buy it because it's one hundred and seventy-seven thousand. Uh, anywhere else got wheat? Uh, nothing really close by. 43 perhaps? No, that's cotton. 34 has got... Maybe 34? So that's 391,000, so that's no chance. So what we might need to do is we might need to go and get some chicken feed. Potentially. So to buy chicken feed, you can come into the pallets and you can just buy a pallet of wheat the only challenge is to get it back to the farm and it's only a thousand liters so it can be it does get quite expensive uh, another option is big bags so you can buy big bags of fertilizer seeds lime wheat so oats or horse food and then pig feed road salt so that's fourteen hundred dollars for a thousand liters as opposed to the pallets, which are 1500. So we essentially need a vehicle to transport that, which we don't have. So what we are going to do is, so we still need to get another fertilizer state down. So I'll do that quickly. Where's our vehicle? Where's our tractor? So let's grab this one. So we'll get another fertilizer state down, get that out of the way. So if we had a te if we had a telehandler, we could go and buy some big bags, drive them back. But what I really would prefer is to have some wheat on hand, so we can fix that. We can um, once we do a, <coughs> once we do this harvest of um, soybeans, we can put in a crop of wheat instead, just to give our silo capacity. So let's get that worker going. Give our silo capacity for uh, chicken feed. So still got ten thousand liters of soybeans too. So let's check on the price of that. So June's going to be the best time to sell that. Yeah, it's quite low at the moment, so it's not worth it's not worth selling. 
Okay, he's done. So this is nice and convenient that it takes very little time. Okay, let's head over here. Get our second state of fertilizer down on the soybeans. So this is going to improve our yield as we've talked about previously. Okay, position that in the middle. Make sure we're pretty pretty well in there. Hit high worker. And I think we're still on the 36 meter, so we did miss a bit. So next time I'll just remember to widen that up. So take a look at the chickens quickly. So got a few different varieties here. Like I said before, just avoid the roosters because they just they do nothing for you. They don't lay eggs. They're just noisy and annoying. So pretty pointless to have um, in your coop because they just take up space for a productive chicken. Okay, all done. Let's get this guy back to the farm. So you can see we're in December too, so we've got a bit of a change of scenery. The leaves are sort of falling off the trees and it's got a bit more of a gloomy, weathery atmosphere. So let's just park this guy up here. Okay, cool. Just double check our fertilizer status. So you can see there that we're fully fertilized, or well, mostly. We've missed a little bit, but not to worry. So let's go and sleep. The chickens are likely going to run out of food on this cycle, but we'll have to we'll have to come up with a plan to because that the the animals don't die in this game. They just basically don't produce anything. So if you don't feed them for months and months on end, they basically just don't produce any eggs so, that, so effectively they take the grain convert it into eggs and that's where you get your profit but they don't actually uh, die so whatever you have in there so they've consumed all that food let's check the animal menu so yeah we're up to 399 pieces of eggs obviously so you can see that pallets increased Obviously we've got nothing to feed them, so let's have a quick look. So the case IH 45 foot draper header. Now this is actually a header that I use quite a lot. So, so this will go with uh, the Fent. Um, I wonder if it'll fit the the do it far. It might do. It's got a it's got a draw bar and hitch on there as well. So the interesting thing about this header is it's got a draw bar, so you can see it there. So it doesn't need a trailer to be transported. So you can just hook it up to your combine and drag it behind. So 33,000, I think that's probably a little bit it's a good discount. So I'll come back and think about that. All right, so where are we at? So we're still waiting for our soybeans to grow. They've still got a few growth states left. Chickens need some food, so we're gonna have to come up with a plan for that. Uh, we have a header that we might look at purchasing. And we're still got unproductive chickens so we really need to get those guys cranking so I think the next crop's gonna be uh, we'll probably do a batch of wheat here and a batch of wheat there so we'll, just, we'll skip a cycle of soybeans just uh, soybeans just to fill up our silo so we've got plenty of chicken feed on hand but anyway that'll be for next episode so thanks for watching guys really appreciate it uh, if you've got any questions or comments let me know like subscribe all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.